Hi guys, I said I'd get another deck review. The weather is changing here. Um, it was beautiful sunny and now it, it was just lashing. There's talks of thunderstorms, which there always is and we usually don't get. But anyway, I get too excited over the talks of thunderstorms. But I said I'd do another deck review. So this is the Archangel Animal Oracle Cards by Diane Cooper. Now, this comes in a beautiful two-part box. So you have the, the tab things here to pull off pull off the lid. You have um, a beautiful um, saying thingy inside the box. And the back has a picture of four of the beautiful cards and just some information. The one thing I want to start with about this deck is it's called the Archangel animal oracle cards right they're absolutely stunning cards as well right they have a beautiful picture of an animal they have the name of the animal a little sentence about it and then the name of anywhere from one to three archangels but the information in the book the information in each card says absolutely nothing about the archangel as mentioned on the card and you would then think that there'd be a section at the end of the book with the information on all the different archangels that are mentioned. No, nothing. So I don't understand why it's called the Archangel Animal Oracle Deck when there's only the name of an archangel mentioned and nothing about the archangel. But anyway, so that's my one complaint about the deck. Beautiful, beautiful little book. Um, You have all the usual information about you know but oracle cards and how to use them and all the rest of it um and then within so you have a little picture of the card the name of the animal the sentence from the card the name of the archangels from the card and then it says so for, for badger for instance it says about badgers so it tells you a little bit about badgers and then it gives you the guidance meaning and that's it. Absolutely nothing about archangels. Sorry, I have to tilt my camera a little bit. That's better. So, there you go. So you have a, a little picture of a badger. You have all the details from the card about badgers and then the guidance. And that's it. Okay. Now, it is beautiful information. Don't get me wrong. But it says absolutely nothing about the archangels. And it's called an archangel animal deck. So that bothers me. But anyway, this is the stunning back of the cards. They are very beautiful, I have to say. So we have Swan. Now I'm not going to read out what's on them. I'm just going to go through them and pick one. And then I'll read from the book. Look at this butterfly card. Oh my God. Colours galore in this. And these are a glossy card as opposed to the last animal deck that I showed, which was matte. So we have dolphin. We have llama. Now there is a few animals in this deck that weren't in the other animal deck. So that's pretty cool. Because I have to say when I'm going through tarot cards and if I see an animal I automatically think to the information it says in the other. The Clip and Reed animal deck. Giraffe. Kangaroo. Because I think animals do say a lot to us, you know. And my my lovely girlfriend that I've been telling you about, Chico and the Brahminad, um, I don't know, I just, I, I like him, you know. And I was always afraid of birds. <laughs> now, having said that, if Chico flew at my head with his wings all the way out, I'd probably lose my shit. But anyway, there you go. Horse. These would be amazing for kids. Now, they're mine. Um, <laughs> I got them for myself. But these would be fabulous for kids. Eagle. Oh, my favourite dog. Now, what does the dog say? Be disciplined in your home and community life. Elephant. Now we have guinea pigs, so I love this card as well. So guinea pigs, um, <clears throat> do your part to illuminate the universe. 
for cute today. Is he? No, I said it there. Anyway. <coughs> Snake. Shark. Monkey. This is actually, I only saw this on Facebook a while ago. Monkey is the animal, you know, the Chinese animal of the year thingy. Uh, so I was born in 1980 and it was monkey. So it says experience all that life has to offer. So that, that's a message for me today because I've just figured out that animal is my, or monkey is my animal. Badger. Bat. Rat. Oh, this is beautiful. Wolf. Look at that image. Aren't they handsome? Donkey. Rabbit. Oh, this is so cute. Look at him. Colours. Oh, I love these cards too. Ant. Parrot. Turtle. This is divine. Goat. Camel. Look at him. He's so cute. Hedgehog. Rhinoceros. Grey squirrel. Find new ways of solving problems. Dove. Gorgeous image. Pig. I see you names of, what is what, three? Three archangels on this one. So there's Mary, Gabriel and Uriel. And book tells you nothing about them. No, I know you can Google things. You can Google everything these days. Everything is on Google and YouTube. But yeah, like if you're going to call him an archangel dick, it should be in the book. Sheep. Tiger. Handsome, handsome picture. Panda. Whale. Raven. The handsome little fella. He looks like my friend Chico. <laughs> People are starting to think I'm crazy <laughs> talking to the birds. Ladybird. I don't care. Owl. Bear. Kingfisher. Deer. Cat. Hyena. I think we might get thunder because it's extremely hot. B. And last but not least, cow. So, as per usual, I'm going to give them a good shuffle and I'm going to pick one for the collective. So, anyone watching this... Um, deck review today or any other day it doesn't have to be about today what do we need to know so what does anyone watching this video need to know right now okay so goat act from your innate wisdom okay now Funnily enough, when I did the other animal 
deck review a while ago, I picked Pig Spirit, which was, I believe, use your words wisely. So this is all to do with wisdom again, which is quite interesting. So I'm just going to find the page in the book and then I'll uh, hold up the card again. So goat would be after giraffe. Here we go. I'm going to read the whole lot. So it's it's there's a bit about goats and then there's the bit about the guidance for the card. Okay. So act from your innate wisdom. It's Archangels Perlimiac and Pan, God of Nature. Goats who originate from Orion, the ascended constellation of enlightenment, are highly intelligent animals. Oh, that's why I love them. Uh, we, we go to a farm and myself and my daughter always gravitate gravitate towards the goats. We're obsessed with the goats. Um, highly intelligent animals. They're often misunderstood, though, when they feel appreciated, they're generous. Though when they feel appreciated, they're generous, loyal and nurturing. They love to be free to wander, spreading golden light and wisdom wherever they go. They balance this desire for space and independence by enjoying the companionship of the herd. These special animals also have a great sense of balance. They love to clamber in the mountains and stand on rocks and peaks, gazing at the world and seeing all from a higher perspective. When you see a goat standing on a pinnacle, it may be linking into Orion for inspiration, for their sole mission is to enlighten, to lighten the vibration of the planet, of our planet. Their service work is to clear unwanted vegetation and rubbish. So the guidance, it says, when you choose this card, your guidance is to be free and independent with the nurture of a loving, caring family or community. If you feel misunderstood, remember that you are, that you carry in your aura light and wisdom that are not always recognised. Do any menial tasks that come your way graciously for this is part of life on earth. Wait until I check the next page to see if there's more information. There is. So, you are invited to look at your circumstances of life and challenging situations from a higher perspective. This will bring you much peace and enable your innate qualities of love, loyalty and caring to develop. When you can do this, your essential wisdom will shine through. You will be acknowledged by those around you. Recognise who you are and many will be drawn to your energy. That is a beautiful message. So that's the message from this um, deck. Goat, act from your innate wisdom. Okay. So I hope you like the deck. Um, please do leave your likes and comments. Um, if any questions, ask away. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks a million. Bye.